Hey guys, it's Aaron here, and we're looking at a Dell and Dell Proprietor BS. So, this is a Dell fan connector. I do not have the back of the Dell fan. Sorry, the back fan for the Dell. So, I'm going to boot it, and this is what happens. See that? Rear fan failure. Well, duh, because we don't have one. Unfortunately, in Dells, most everything you cannot edit, so I cannot get rid of that message, so I'll tell you how to hotwire around it. So we're going to turn off the system. Here's the original CPU fan connector. All right. Now, it is four pins, and it's not in the usual four-pin layout of a fan. So the first thing you think is, well, the only way for the motherboard to know that the fan's on is if the sensor cable is working, which is usually the third the third pin connector in one of these, okay? So you positive, negative to power it, and then a sensor. So in this case, the red is positive, the black is negative, which are the two center pieces, okay? And then you have a sensor wire and another sensor wire. Now, if you hot wire just one of these sensor wires at a time, it won't work. They both have to be hot wired at the same time. So what did I do? I tapped into this cable, the yellow and the blue, extended it, used a one socket or a one pin connector, I actually cut a connector in half, and then you simply plug it into this jack as it would be plugged into that one. Which means that the motherboard will be getting the information as if this fan is spinning off of this actual fan right here running your CPU in this particular case. Okay, so there you have it. I've tried simply plugging in a fan into here and trying to get the sensor wire correct and you end up frying the fan. I fried two of them now so <laughs> it's been a journey for me. Uh, I'm not going to leave this computer without a rear fan. I'm going to stick this connector in the middle to pins and then wire up this fan so that everything is happy like it should be. So let's give this a shot. So green. Obviously I'm going to electrical tape this when it's all done. But for testing, okay, so you have two pins that I desire. I'm going to plug the original connector back in. There you go. Make sure that none of my my hot wires are touching anything. Okay, so let's give it a boot, see how it does. There you go. Boots like a charm. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is on the Optiplex. 755 but I'm assuming Dell uses his own proprietary fans basically across the board so have fun enjoy don't fry your system and if you do giggle giggle toodles guys see you next time